hello everyone welcome back again to my channel so for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how i create a simple line art portrait with calligraphy using of course ivy's paint so i've been using this up a lot because i only have my phone with me and this application really works on my phone so you can also download this if you don't have this application so and i don't have my computer with me it's in my shop yes i have an art shop where i sell most of my artworks and souvenirs please check it out on my facebook art to inspire souvenirs and event designs so aside from my art account which is art to inspire crafts i have and i have other account for my business so please like my page so let's begin let's now open the ivy's paint So first, I'm gonna choose my paper size. So let's click this one. So let's click this one. I think this size is already good. So let's just click it. Okay. So this is now our working area. Next, let's check our resolution. So just click the brush here and then click the canvas and click the resize. So make sure your resolution or the DPI is 300 or above so that you will have a high resolution of your artwork. So it's already in 350, so I'll just check this out. Then, anyway, if you don't have any idea on how to use this app, you can check my previous tutorial on how to use the Ibis Paint. But sorry because my speaking voice is kind of fast there because I edited the speed of the video to make it short that I forgot to adjust the voice <laughs> so next we'll go to adding our photo or our reference photo so let's click the layer here so let's put this camera sign here so I will be using my own photo yes this is me so let's adjust this one Make sure not to use a blurred or pixelated photo. So let's check this. Click cancel. So I'm going to add another layer for the line art later. So make sure the layer for your line art is above your reference photo. So we'll adjust the opacity of our reference photo so that we'll be able to see clearly our line art later. So I think 70% is okay. So we already have our layer for our line art. So for the line art, I'm going to use the oil hair brush. So this one it's already selected here because i use this most of the time because i love the effect of this little brush the stroke it's like hair so let's click this one but if you don't have this brush on your ivy's paint you can also choose other brushes So now let's turn on our stabilizer so it's already turned on so I choose the level 10 so we need stabilizer because it will make your stroke more fine more smooth and then let's also turn on our force fade so for the force fade so for the force fade, it will make your brush look thinner at both ends. Just like this. See that? It's like fading at the both ends. So you can adjust the shape of the end of your brush. The smooth or the linear. The smooth or the linear. You can also adjust the length of the starting point or the ending point. So I think 40 is or somehow 30. 
so now let's choose the color for our stroke so i'll be choosing a dark brown so i like this color i don't like the typical black color for the line art this one so i will be using a bigger stroke here and then later i'll just adjust it to a smaller one for the other details so for the first details i will be using a large stroke so you can use one layer for all your line art so let's begin so i'm going to fast forward this And then, so let's add detail for the hair, smaller stroke. So this is the output of our line art. So next I will put a background. So I'm going to add another layer. So we can now delete this one. So this is the uh, background. This is for the background, this layer. So I'll just hide first the line art. And let's go back here. And then let's choose color for our background. Color. I'm going to choose a shade of somehow light orange I've been loving these shades yellow to orange sunflower shades so as you will see on my post on my page I always use these shades the yellow and the orange so this is it then let's click the paint bucket then let's click our canvas then so these are background so let's now unhide the line art. So I'll be resizing this because I'm going to write something at the bottom. So I'll be adding another layer between the line art and the background. This is for the background of the portrait itself. So I will be using white color for all the background of this light art because I'm starting to like this style and I'm starting to creating this style so but if you want to put other colors on your line art feel free to do it so I'll be now removing the force paint so I've been using this style a lot I'm not that yet very good in creating vector art or 
digital portrait so I'm just starting to explore how to create the line art and then maybe sooner I'll improve it and then I can also pitch it to you guys so please bear with my art as what they say practice makes progress or practice makes perfect for me I believe practice makes progress then into perfection so I'm gonna adjust my brush size So if you guys like to put other color or complete the color of your line art, so feel free to do it. I just love this style. Simple white background and then line art. It's like a comic. I am starting to use this style on some of my poster or Bible verse poster on Facebook. So this is it. So I'm gonna add a calligraphy of my name. So let's add another layer at the top of the line art. So I'll be using the same brush for my calligraphy because it's my favorite but you can also use the marker or the calligraphy brush it's also good so in contrast with the color orange I'll be using color blue so it's complementary color so let's add color blue a darker blue I think this one is good Okay, so my name is Reg. So my full name is Regine Royo. But my Facebook name is Reg Boo. So we're on the right layer. So I'm gonna write. I already turned off my fourth fade. So I'm going to write Reg. Again. Whoa, again. Reg. So you will see the effect of this brush. It's kinda it has a lot of stroke in a stroke. No. For this one, I'll be using the force fade. So I will have, but not, but only at the end, not from the start. So I use force fade for this one, so we have that kind of effect. Here. But it's kind of not good. So I will put this one. No. Yes. So this is me. I'm Reg, so let's adjust the size. So I'll be duplicating my calligraphy for me to have a shadow effect. So just click the duplicate layer and then you'll have it. And then I'll just invert the color. So like I said, on my previous tutorial, the invert color will just uh, transform the color of your uh, calligraphy or the color of the text or whatever color here on the layer it will it will just be transformed into its complementary color so make sure it's in the lower part of your main calligraphy 
so let's adjust the opacity so it will really look like a shadow then I'll adjust it somehow at the lower or at the side which, which one here or here or here maybe here maybe it's good here okay then for the final touch I decided to add a simple stroke at the back so we'll put a force at the beginning so this is it I'm going to make a doodle here something like that whoa I think it's so cute yes like that so this is it my simple line art with calligraphy so i hope you learned guys and i hope you enjoyed doing this so like i said a while ago i'm just a beginner in doing this and i'm just enjoying doing this so practice more so thank you for watching guys so don't forget to subscribe on my channel for more art tutorial so you can also recommend a tutorial that you want to learn so I will try to do it so thank you for watching guys god bless you oh don't forget to save okay so let's save this one thank you